some galvanised nails, some twin and earth, a voltmeter, a couple of uh, pieces of kitchen roll and some water. I pulled the uh, copper wire out of the uh, twin and earth and I'm going to form it into a big coil around the screwdriver. So I'm going to do that now. The uh, copper wire should look like after you've uh, rolled it around the screwdriver and as you can see it's got a hole in the center that we can place one of these galvanized nails now all we need to do is rip off a piece of that uh, kitchen roll to be a spacer between it and uh, place it in there so I'm going to do that now this is what it should look like after you've uh, pushed and screwed it around in there so the, uh, the one piece of uh, metal, the copper, is not touching the uh, galvanised or uh, the zinc on the outside of the nail. Now, if we then drop in some water to get water between the two metals. So we can then uh, test that with the uh, voltmeter and we should find we're getting about 0.8 volts off it. I'm going to uh, do exactly the same now with the, uh, the other two and then uh, link them in series and we should be getting about 2 volts off that and uh, we're going to see if that uh, deflects an analog meter then that's great well, I've done three of these now and uh, what I've done is uh, I've hooked up the copper from one all the way around to the zinc to the other then the copper from one again all the way around to the zinc to the other and then the copper all the way around and to my voltmeter now uh, if I switch this on there and do the final connection and you'll see that we've got 2.2 volts roughly and I'm just going to go and get an analog, analog meter now and see if it does a deflection to make sure that there's uh, enough amps to push it with the analog meter as well in uh, parallel with the digital so if I hook this up now, we're only getting 1.1 volts roughly and it's getting a definite deflection if I take the uh, lead off and then on again. You can see there's definitely work being done and that's how you can make uh, a water battery out of uh, copper and zinc, that's great.